And lighter means faster and every second counts. It's been a year since the fall of Kabul when the U.S. military pulled its troops out of Afghanistan. Today, the State Department was pressed about broken promises from the Taliban, including not allowing girls to go to school. CBS 8's Abby Alford shares how a San Diego native and others are going to extreme measures to give young women and children an education. Resettlement agencies like Jewish Family Service help Afghan families relocate and thrive here in San Diego. In the last year, we've seen many people in our community helping those families here and in Afghanistan. I don't know what I got myself into. Exactly one year ago today, Aria Raofi recorded this terrifying plea. She tried to escape the Taliban. She dodged gunfire and witnessed people shot next to families and their children. I think honestly it's so surreal that it's already been one almost a year. Aria grew up in Rancho Bernardo and was in Afghanistan where she started a children's photography school. She was able to flee and now lives in Florida where we spoke to her over Zoom. You would be so surprised like how badly these little girls want education. Just a simple school. Aria says the school had to shut down, but they fought to reopen it. Nearly 100 girls and four teachers go to school in these hidden containers. <coughs> the Taliban still have not lived up to their promise of allowing girls access to education. It's as simple as education, but yet you're breaking generation cycles of suffering and poverty. Still shaken and afraid, Aria has not been able to revisit Afghanistan. She says the guilt weighs on her. One of her students was forced into what she calls child marriage because the girl's parents did not have money for food. I still feel like there's something I could do that I should do and I must do. As she struggles emotionally, Aria says financially she needs help to keep the school open, so she launched a GoFundMe. I want to be heard so I could raise awareness and possibly have somebody to support me in helping those little girls. This is the only place where they have some kind of hope. Aria says she may have left the war torn country, but she will not leave young women like her behind. It's my obligation and duty to, you know, continue raising awareness and give them a voice. To help little girls go to school in Afghanistan, go to CBS8.com and click on the help button. All right, Abby, thank you. Since the U.S. withdrew troops from Afghanistan, 100,000 Afghans have fled their home country and more than half have resettled here in America. Jewish Family Service of San Diego's refugee resettlement team says it has welcomed 423 people from Afghanistan since last August. They are one of four designated agencies in the county who provide assistance to help families relocate.